It's Monday the 8th of November and I hope you had a, a pleasant and relaxing weekend. I did and um, today the week started with many many different updates. I don't know where actually to start. Um, today I will focus on one topic and I will leave then maybe kind of like the unboxing of some uh, uh, of some uh, fancy stuff from the flight school then maybe to a later day this week. Um, also, I have a new car. Uh, for 4,500 bucks, I uh, got a new car, uh, like a car uh, here, and uh, also something to, to, to discuss further. Anyway, today we actually went back to ground school and um, discussed uh, performance, pressure altitude, uh, center of gravity, all to do with how can you safely... Um, bring an airplane uh, to the sky and how can you operate it once it is in the sky so it's all about kind of like how much how much weight you can put on a plane very important um how this weight has to be distributed uh and uh ultimately on what sort of like service you're taking off is it a, a grass runway or uh, or not um is is there are there obstacles um uh, beyond the runway that you need to climb over and so forth. So it's so a very interesting and uh, kind of reminded me back to my day as a flight attendant, where we also had to be very careful about where we sit the passengers and the load distribution had to be very, very precise. Otherwise you simply can't take off with an airplane. And so that's something that I will obviously discuss much more once I'm actually flying because then it will become very important and will be part of my briefing, part of my preparation in order to get uh, uh, get and go flying. Um, but what I want to uh, share, a quick update today is about the fact that we actually went and uh, visited the maintenance um, uh, hangar. Um, yeah, and it's uh, it's re really reassuring um, to meet the people in the hangar and to understand kind of like what they're doing and like to, to see the plane, like partially taken apart. Um, really reassuring because ultimately kind of like you depend with your life on kind of like that things are properly done. And obviously there are procedures and checklists and exactly how things have to be done is documented. Nevertheless, um, it's always good to to know kind of like where 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 things are happening and to know the people behind and so forth. So so we did that today. And also interestingly enough, um, we were able to see all the airline logos of all the airlines that actually before COVID had their cadet programs, their pilot training programs um, at this school. Um, and obviously there are some very prominent um, uh, like airlines uh, there uh, on that on that uh, wall. Uh, to see now for me maintenance um is something that i um i'm also interested in so so we looked at kind of like uh how you can take apart an engine and how kind of like because ultimately kind of like i want to understand how an airplane function i don't just want to sit in and I, I like 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 say like okay well you just need to push the, the throttle um <clears throat> forward I want to really understand. I want to understand kind of like the systems uh, because more and more, obviously, um, yeah, the systems become more sophisticated and you want to understand <clears throat> what sort of like automatism uh, they have built in, what sort of like technology is built in and so forth. Now with these, like, let's say kind of like small airplanes, it's a bit less uh, like, so it's still kind of like you understand what's what's happening. Um, but even already like the, the newer um, versions of these small airplanes uh, have a lot of like uh, technology in, included and in integrated um, that makes life much easier as a, as a, as a pilot. But nevertheless, um, you want to understand what happens when you push a certain button or when you get into a certain attitude um, uh, flying flying turns or, or climbing and descending and so forth. So it was very interesting um, and definitely kind of like worth a visit. All right, so that's it for, for today. Um, and um, obviously more exciting news uh, over these next couple of, of days uh, will be shared here. So see you next time. Thanks for, for having 
having time to to watch these videos much appreciated and all to all a good good week ahead